Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ria and welcome to my channel The Lady Dentist. We help you to master dentistry and progress a bit every day. This video will lead you to the route to successfully locate all the canals of maxillary molars. For newbies, if the question is which tooth have MB2 canal, the answer would be one should expect to find the MB2 canal in nearly all maxillary molars. However, the canal is difficult to locate and negotiate since it is often hidden under a dentine shelf and tends to be calcified. Warning! Never underestimate the incidence of MB2 canal. The incidence of MB2 canal is roughly 90% in maxillary first molars and it's 60% in maxillary second molar. Therefore, treating a case, we should start root canal treatment keeping in mind that majority of the maxillary molars contain four canals. Ah, the infamous MB2 canal. No worries. Let's look into the methods to find MB2 canal. First is magnification, then radiographs, axis cavity, white line test, bubble test or champagne bubble test, color test and exploring. First is axis cavity. Axis cavity should not be compromised at the risk of missing anatomy, which means your axis cavity should not be incomplete. Minimally prepared axis cavity designs present more risk than benefit on the outcome of endodontic treatment. If the roof of pulp chamber is not removed, then canals can never be cleaned properly. So I would conclude this point by saying the access cavity should be large enough to allow proper viewing of all canals and possible atypical anatomy. Here is a tip to make it much more easier is First start with cleaning and shaping of the main canals which includes distobuccal, MB1 and palatal. Then follow the path of dentinal map to locate MB2. To understand dentinal map, look at this image. The MB2 canal is palatal and often mesial to a line drawn between MB1 and palatal canal. To make it more easy for you, I would say MB2 is located under the mesial marginal ridge. Next test is white line test. This test is only for necrotic tooth. During axis cavity preparation or while performing ultrasonic procedure without water, dentinal dust gets collected into any accessible anatomical areas such as grooves, orifice, fins or isthmus. This collected dust will appear as a white line. Follow this white line and you will end up revealing the secret canal. Another test is red line test. This is an exclusive test for vital tooth. In vital tooth, blood frequently oozes out from an orifice, fin or an isthmus area after axis cavity preparation. This bead of blood serves to indicate and identify the underlying anatomy below the pulpal floor. Our next test is Champagne Bubble Test. This is a method which helps to pinpoint orifice of a hidden canal. After axis cavity, the chamber is flooded with sodium hypochlorite. Then allow the irrigant to remain in the pulp chamber. You will witness bubbles from the particular point on the floor of the pulp chamber. This indicates there is a hidden canal. But now, is this a magic? Absolutely not. The logic behind this test is that sodium hypochlorite dissociates into sodium and chlorine ions and it releases free oxygen when it comes in contact with pulp which is the organic tissue. Our next test is color test. It is completely based on your observation. The floor of pulp chamber is always darker than the surrounding dentinal walls. By keen observation, you can mark the junction of pulp chamber floor and walls. Accordingly, prepare the axis cavity by tracking the 
dark line and following the road map. After that, let's know about dye test. Place few drops of methylene blue dye into the pulp chamber and then rinse it well with water. You will find remnants of dye in the fissures and grooves. Follow the dye and use it as a road map. You will find the internal anatomy. Last part of the video is exploring. It is always always recommended to prepare all the three main canals first. The main canals are MB1, Dustobuckle and Palatal. After you finish preparing all three, then start with MB2. Keep in mind the location of MB2 and remove some dentine with long shank low speed bar from MB1 to Palatal canal. Other than low speed bar, you can also use ultrasonic tips and endo explorer. In a few moment you will see a small opening to MB2 canal which you can negotiate and prepare. This video includes all the tricks to find out MB2 canal. The secret of success is not a secret anymore. For more such videos please like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.